Hi, I'm Jesper from the TouchDFX team. In this video, I will present a couple of new features that we have added to the TouchDFX 4.23 release. To do this, I go to the Create New Application tab. I want to base my application on the 8735 board. So I select this one and I create my application. The first feature is about programming your board from within the designer. So up until now, you have these three options in the right lower corner. So you can generate your code, you can run the simulator, or you can uh, program and run your target. The program and run target command is based on the configuration of your build commands in your project. The configuration can be seen in the configuration tab on the build. Here we can see the flash target command, which is the command that is being executed when you press the button uh, program and run a target. So what you see here is the setup that is done for the 8735 board that we selected. So here it executes uh, a command in our make file. However, in some projects, flashing the entire board can take a long time, especially if you have a lot of images or even some videos. And in some cases, you might not even need to flash the external flash, for example, which contains, in most cases, the images and, and videos. For example, if you have only changed your code or you have moved a button or something on, in the designer uh, and you want to flash again, well, you haven't changed any of your images, so why should you uh, flash those again? This is exactly what the new feature is all about. So we have made a selection down here where you can say I want to program all or I just want to program the internal flash. And if you select program internal flash only, then you can see this uh, button changes to a program internal flash and run target. What it means is that it will execute this new command here, so flash target internal command, instead of the flash target command. This is a really nice feature that can save you a lot of time, especially uh, while testing or, or debugging. But beware, you need to know what you're doing. If you have for example, change some images, added some images or something that goes into the external flash and you only flash the internal, well, then your program will not uh, work or uh, do some uh, strange stuff, look uh, very weird on the display. In that case, you need to go and uh, program all your board instead. Here again, we can see that the TBS for the H735 has this command here, so again a makefile command. Uh, in your build setup, it might be different, and you need to configure that to to only flash the the internal for your setup. The next feature I would like to mention is the support of vector fonts. Normally, fonts are rendered in TouchDFX by bitmaps, so when you build the characters you need are converted into bitmaps and drawn directly as these images by TouchDFX. This is both a fast and effective way of rendering characters, but it has one major drawback. It can take up a lot of flash since you need to store the image representation of each of the characters that you want to display. One way of handling this is to have a vector representation of your characters instead of a bitmap. However, this takes a long time to render, so that's a trade-off there. Either you want to use a lot of flash and have very fast rendering time, or you can have a slow rendering time but use less flash. And rendering vector fonts is slow on microcontrollers, even though some of them have uh, hardware acceleration for vector drawings. So mo in most cases, bitmaps are the preferred choice 
of users of TouchDFX. However, there are some situations where we really, really need to save flash and rendering time is not an issue. In this case, you can go with vector fonts and achieve what you want to achieve. The saving in flash can be quite significant, especially if you have the same font, you use the same font in different sizes in your application. And especially if these sizes are quite big, then the savings of a vector represent representation uh, versus a bitmap representation is quite large. The way you do this is in the generator, touch effect generator, you uh, enable vector font rendering for your device. And then simply in the text tab in typographies, you can select uh, if you want a bitmap representation or vector representation of a particular uh, typography. You can mix here, so you can have the same font in a bitmap representation for a particular size and have a vector representation of that font. That is useful if you, in some places, do not need a, a fast rendering but you need a lot of characters, go for the vector font. And if in some places you need to scroll or animate the text, well, go for a bitmap representation. That was the two uh, features that I would like to tell you about. Please go ahead and try them out. You can go to our documentation and read more about them. I hope you'll have a good time using the TouchGFX 423.